now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, temperatures more respectable this afternoon, topping out mid-upper 60s, close to 70 in some spots. Take a look at the numbers. So pretty good considering we were down to about 20, 21 degrees early yesterday morning, up to 70 in Smithfield, 69 in the high today in Providence, upper 60s in Taunton, mid-60s in New Bedford. If you do the math, you compare the temperatures now to this time yesterday, and we're about... 15 to 23 degrees warmer. So some sunshine and a southwest breeze really doing the trick and warming things up nicely. Weather pattern that I'm tracking continues to be fairly quiet. Again, we don't see any big storms, widespread precipitation other than, you know, maybe a spot shower here and there. So tonight through Wednesday and Thursday, all green in the low category. As we take a look outside along the south shore, gorgeous finish to the day down in Narragansett with some sunshine and a few fair weather clouds. Temperatures in the 60s here in Providence. Looks pretty nice. Still 66 on a west-southwest breeze at 12. Of course, those winds have been busy all day. Humidity still fairly dry coming in at 42%. And our friends in Tiverton, a gorgeous late afternoon and early evening at 63. Most areas now low in mid-60s. Westerly at uh, 62. Taunton 64. Boston coming in at 65. Now, I'm tracking a cold front, the leading edge of some cooler air, still draped across the U.S.-Canadian border, out ahead of it, some showers. This will stall just to our north tomorrow. What it will do is bring some extra clouds really not much in the way of precipitation other than a sprinkle so basically it's a dry uh, Wednesday and temperature is still pretty nice let me walk you through it on future cast starting off this evening Overnight tonight, I certainly wouldn't call it cold. In fact, temperatures are really staying well above freezing all night long. So by tomorrow morning, early, starting off in the upper 50s with extra clouds as we advance into the afternoon. Other than a passing sprinkle, essentially it's a dry day. Now, a lot of clouds, but I wouldn't rule out in the afternoon. A little bit of partial sunshine breaking through the cloud cover. We'll call it hazy sun. Temperatures, once again, mid to upper 60s, so pretty nice. And then by tomorrow evening at around 7 o'clock, we'll slip back into the upper 50. So overall, not a bad day. If you earn a living working outdoors, it's actually pretty comfortable. So for tomorrow morning, extra clouds, but a little sunshine. Temperatures are pretty good by 11 a.m. We are in the uh, mid-60s and mid-60s tomorrow afternoon with a blend of clouds and a, a little hazy sunshine and not quite as windy. Seven-day future cast gets even milder. Now, Thursday, 65 to 70. You see the raindrops, but this is not a storm. In fact, very little in the way of precipitation, just a passing shower. I'm thinking probably late afternoon and early evening on that. And it does cool off for Friday. In fact, notice it'll be cooler, but it's a dry day after some early morning clouds, increasing sunshine, though temperature topping out at only 55. The cool weather will extend into Saturday. Sunday, not a washout, though the chance of a shower later in the day. High temperatures under partly sunny skies in the upper 50s to near 60. A couple of episodes of a few showers, but other than, other than any widespread significant rain, we don't see that. And temperatures pretty good next couple of days before we begin the cool down for Friday and Saturday. WPRI.com to get your seven-day future cast. We'll take a look at the marine forecast coming up in our next weather segment. This afternoon felt like spring, actually. Oh, of course. Yes. All right, thanks, Tony. We have more coverage you can count on. Stay